Uh, I would like to thank uh, to His Excellency uh, Chief Executive Officer for uh, his closing remarks and also to my co-chair, Ambassador Yamamoto. Uh, if I may, uh, my colleagues help me to uh, classify what we have heard in three different categories. And stop me, please, if I'm wrong. Okay, don't hesitate. Uh, the first one is uh, the statements of encouragement that we have heard from you. I will, I will go through that. The second one is commitments and also things that our partners recommitted uh, themselves. And uh, the last, I will uh, address some key challenges that you have mentioned and we have heard it very clearly. So we have heard that uh, our partners commended that this psalm particularly and the reform process as a whole more than ever are clearly Afghan-owned and Afghan-led. I hope uh, we picked it up uh, rightly. Uh, uh, we heard that our partners welcome the new uh, strategy that we have already presented to you and it's released officially for combating uh, uh, corruption. And we have heard you very clearly that now you need a swift implementation arrangements. Uh, we have heard that uh, uh, the progress on citizen charter will help to reduce uh, poverty and deliver basic services, particularly supporting refugees and women, and things that we have already committed to you based on uh, uh, SMAF smart indicators. It's on track, and by the end of this year, we will reach to 2,500 uh, communities. Uh, we heard that you have told us that reforms and achievements in fiscal policy, revenue generation, custom reforms, land management, and progress on PPP uh, or on, on the right track, and the way that we have already uh, promised it's moving in the right direction. Also, you have indicated some improvements in judicial sector, particularly related to Attorney General Office, and the work on uh, ACGC, our uh, anti-corruption justice, uh, justice center, and we have heard you very clearly how we can provide uh, uh, security uh, to, to those that they are working there uh, at ACGC. Uh, you have acknowledged some progress on uh, women rights and also particularly the improvements there and uh, as well as great achievements to some extent in, in health and, and education uh, uh, sector. And also we have heard uh, from our uh, civil society uh, that there are some progress, but a lot, a lot more needs to happen, particularly uh, anti-harassment laws and also family laws. On uh, commitments, um, many representatives uh, from our uh, um, international partners reaffirm their commitment to providing on budget support and that was part of our request also to support us through mechanisms such as uh, US led NDP, EU led state building contract or World Bank led uh, IP incentive uh, uh, through ARTF. And the support uh, to the reform agenda as laid in the ANPDF and, uh, and all the NPPs. Uh, so you have re uh, recommitted that you will support all those uh, agenda of reform. And also support is specifically highlighted to improve private sector growth and creating an enabling environment for investors, including infrastructure, service delivery, and investment in agriculture sector. And we have heard very clearly, and that's our uh, constitution obligation to adopt our, uh, this market-based policy. So this is, this is something that uh, we don't have choice. We have to make it happen. 
about refugees, uh, returnees, and also uh, internal displaced population. We have heard very clearly from our partners that you will support us. So do you have uh, uh, recommitted your support for our elections. On key challenges, um, the increased focus on, securing, uh, on security you have mentioned, and uh, uh, the reforms, particularly at the Ministry of Interior, a need to continue to further speed up reform agenda. That's as a, as a challenge uh, you have mentioned. Acknowledgement that reforms take time, but also important to find areas where public in Afghanistan, but also that citizens from our international partners are able to see the impact to continue uh, uh, supporting our reform agenda. We have heard that we need more mechanism for consultation with our people, and also uh, 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 there should be a lot awareness program, especially about peace agenda of our government. So uh, these are the things that we have uh, made uh, uh, note. And of course, uh, we received appreciations on a robust uh, merit-based recruitment at our S uh, Civil Service Commission. And uh, uh, we have uh, uh, received your uh, support. And also, you have told us about uh, the resources that we have, particularly mineral resources that we have a, a able a minister leading that sector. So with that, uh, uh, if I may, I will make some, uh, some announcement. I, my colleagues asked me to do so. On November 14 and 15 of this year in Ishkabat, as you know, we have this RECA conference will be held there. That's a regional uh, mechanism that we have. And also on December 1st of 2017, we have Heart of Asia Istanbul process. Uh, we have made an official appeal, please don't uh, forget, for uh, supporting us to secure a seat at the Human Rights Council. Mm -hmm. And we promised you that we will, we will nominate a very devoted uh, woman there, an Afghan woman. Uh, also, you may have heard that President during lunchtime uh, he already uh, announced the second Kabul process to be held in Kabul uh, on January of uh, 25th, January of 2018. And all this, we have already, uh, 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 we have already um, put them in order at the co chair statements. And you can find all. Uh, uh, president speech, CEO uh, speech, and also SRSG and mine, and all the related documentations in the Finance Ministry's website. It's very easy to, uh, uh, to do if you have a, a strong search engine, of course. And we will get your speech also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the call on Human Rights Council was part of my speech as well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, we prepared a small souvenir for you, please, for all head of delegations. It's a, it's a basket of saffron and also a, a tea. Please don't forget to take that with you. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, and of course tomorrow I will have a press conference with uh, SRSG. Whatever you have told us, we will, we will uh, uh, communicate that to Afghan public. And uh, I'm sure uh, uh, SRSG will do it with our international media also. So with that, I thank everybody for, for their active participation, and uh, particularly my colleagues at uh, our policy department under the uh, leadership of my very able deputy minister, uh, Surabi. So can I ask you to please give them a big applause? So with all due respect to the, uh, uh, the colleagues there at the, at the ministry, I can say that very proudly that uh, Madam Surabi and also Salma John al and all the women colleagues there, they, they made that to happen, to tell you the truth. So from A to Z, 
And uh, we, we are so grateful for that. Thank you very much. So everybody I did it, I know, but I want to thank our UNAMA colleagues, especially Ambassador Yamamoto and uh, Toby. Thank you very much. You did a great job with all your team. So we are grateful uh, for that. Without your support, we couldn't have done it. Uh, uh, Palace, especially our protocol department, the media team, they have uh, provided us this environment and I'm sure you, you agree with me that they have treated us with, uh, with hospitalities. We are, we are thankful for that. <laughs> our panelists, uh, we, we thank them all uh, from uh, government, from civil society and of course our, our cabinet colleagues, they are, they are so instrumental for that. Uh, we are so grateful for their uh, active participation. Civil society, of course, our, our private sector, uh, they all uh, uh, enrich our discussions uh, today in, uh, in uh, different panels. And also uh, a very special thank to our moderators that they narrowed down all these discussions and they very effectively managed the time. And, uh, uh, and a special thank to all of you for being with us and come uh, for those especially that came from a cap uh, far away from the, uh, your capitals. We are so grateful for that. And please uh, 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 pass our message. This is a message from our leadership. It's a message of Afghanistan that we are so grateful for your generosity and for your continued support uh, uh, for our shared cause. And. Uh, uh, one thing that I've promised you, hopefully you have noticed last time, that this time the gender balance would be considered seriously. Hopefully that was, that was noticeable. Uh, so with that, uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much once again. And those who came here from far away, we wish you a safe journey back home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.